said about that than that. The stakes are high, and um, I believe seventh place actually guarantees themselves twenty dollars, but that's the bare minimum of the pot. So if you lose here, you're only coming home with twenty when you could be coming home with so much more. And we're gonna be seeing the Lucina coming out from Arrow. Obviously, Ekidona rocking the Juno tag and the Palutena. And this is going to be our first set of losers of the day. Whoever, whoever can't come out on top is going home. Stakes are high, but the smash is going to be higher. Let's go, baby. Let's get into it. Shout out to Pokemon Stadium 2, because why would you go anywhere else? Literally, the best matches happen here. Yeah, like Genesis 7 Grand Finals was just like five straight games of PS2. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And that's often regarded as one of the hypest sets in Ultimate's history. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get some more hype sets going today. Uh, and so far, it has been crazy hype. Uh, right now, we're seeing Arrow. Oh, I love that down tilt. Just calling out Ekidona right at the ledge there. Uh, still a bit of an even game, but Ekidona is starting to take a bit of an early lead. Right, right, and once Ekidona gets up on top, it becomes so easy for her to snowball. And there's that one hit of Nair to stop that uppy. And yeah, that was that was a really good kill, really smart kill from Ekidona. And unfortunately for Arrow, uh, they're down pretty bad right now. Yeah, it is not looking great. Ekidona is kind of all over Arrow right now and uh, definitely not letting up anytime soon. It's this relentless pressure that's absolutely insane from Ekidona. Once Ekidona senses that there's a weakness in you, she will exploit it until she can find another one to exploit. Yeah. And right now, the Lucina's kind of getting picked apart right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, F-Tilt just getting punished. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I don't know how I feel about trying to punish Lucina up special with counter. Just because that move has so such a fast-moving hitbox. You kind of can just escape from a lot of counters because of it. I appreciate that Ekidona tried it once, and now that we know it doesn't work, won't try it again. They will opt for probably better ledge trapping and edge guarding opportunities, um, you know, later in the set when they present themselves. Yeah, Lucina is one of those characters that I just don't really try to edge guard. I just try and ledge trap. Just because up special can be so difficult to beat out. Uh, unless you can get her really far off stage, it is kind of difficult. Like, this is a good situation to try and ledge trap. Right, excuse me, edge guard. Oh, oh. well. Sorry, yep. the projectiles <laughs> do it for you. Evidently, yeah. Now Arrow on his final stock, Ekidona. Sitting pretty at 56% and not struggling too much. Right, and man, these trains... Once they start with Palutena, she can take a little interaction a very, very long way. Nair is such a good move, confirms it to itself and so many other moves in her kit. And, um, oh my god, dude, all of her aerials are so powerful. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, F Smash gonna be contesting both the Explosive Flame and, I think, a forward air? Beating up both of them. Well, no, I believe, Zina. um... I was gonna say, I believe Ekidona was still in end lag from using the uh, Explosive Flame side B. Um, but yeah, ah. um, recognizing that Ekidona didn't have any evasive options at her disposal, Arrow just ran up an F Smash. But unfortunately, ah. they are almost done on their last stock unless they could get something going here. Yeah, I got hit by the New York, the roll behind back throw. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I like that high recovery, Arrow. Just barely holding on to this final stock. Uh, needs to do something to get back in this game, but neutral get up punished by the F-Tilt, and Ekidona is going to take game number one. Yeah, hey, how's that staff in your face? You can't feel very good. <laughs> Not great. No, I can't imagine. Uh, if you really think about it, aren't both of these characters using staffs, though? No. Lucina has a sword. <laughs> I mean, Come it might on, be... Man. I've always thought of it like a baseball bat. And Marth has a sword. How? Because, <laughs> I mean, it hits like a baseball bat. No, it doesn't. Yeah, Honestly, I'd say Marth is more like the baseball it. bat. What? <laughs> everywhere you get hit by Lucina, 
You know what? I might be on something else with this one. Dude, have you? Okay, okay. <laughs> you ever played baseball? Yeah. You notice no. how the, uh, the the part of the bat closer to your hands is thin? Lucina's sword is more like I don't know a uh, knife. I guess. I don't know okay. what you want me to say, dog. <laughs> All right, we're on something else. Either way, oh god, those up airs are getting a little scary there. Um, so is that down air well, too? Well, now, yeah, now the character that actually has a knife, uh, arrow swapping over to the Joker. And I'd say that knife is more like a sword, actually. At the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, okay. This is kind of an even game, and I only say that because of our send. You just get such right. a big X factor that comes out with it, and the percents are now even just off of that one side special. Yeah, yeah and I think that was the I think that was the thought process of picking this stage where the uh, horizontal blast zones are super close. The problem is that this is one of Palutena's best stages. She is so good here. She, like she has so oh. many kill options. Like that back throw can kill. Her back air, um, you know, down tilt forward air, down tilt back air is a super good kill confirm. Same with down throw, um, back air forward air. So she has dummy options, but that R send is so powerful that it's a great option as well. So I don't know who to give the edge to here. Right now, Arrow is pulling ahead, keeping the lead, and rocking it with the Glock. But again, two hits from Ekadona, and it's almost an even game. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it just me or is Arrow kind of schmoovin' right now? Uh, just kind of playing with a, a renewed fervor. Uh, seems to be on fire, just getting all of these wins in neutral. And nearly takes that second stock, but definitely- Oh! Down smash with our Arsene out, definitely gonna lock out that second stock. And now Arrow, uh, for the first time this set has a really solid lead. Absolutely. But, again, woo, yeah, that down air, going underneath the stage, that was an excellent two frame. That was spicy. That was real spicy. Yeah. It, it didn't do much, but I appreciate it anyway. Yeah, you can tell that there's a thought process behind everything the Arrow is doing right now. Right, like he's definitely not asleep guns. at the wheel. Yeah. Let's see. Just continuing to rack up some damage. Explosive Flame, not quite going to kill. That move just... Feels like it ends so quickly, so it's hard to punish it. Um, but say la vie, that's just how Palutena is. Right. Oh, but a good air dodge from Arrow. No jumps for uh, for Echidona. And they're in the corner. Oh. There's that Arsene oh. back air. Okay, that was kind of nasty. The way that Arrow that was, was empty hopping there was really, really nice. Echidona falls onto this back platform, just dropping Man. up and down. Oh. I just finally that noticed nasty. In that, in, in that in that screen, uh, Arsene just like karate chopped her. <laughs> so get out of here. The death Kwando right there. <laughs> and all right, Echidona runs it right back to uh, Pokemon Stadium too. But yeah, dude, like I gotta say, Arrow's movement with the Joker is looking very clean. I mean, in that pressure situation, not only did he short hop, but he also just fell through the platform. And then jumped through it, and then jumped, fading out all these options from Echidona. And my god, Echidona was so scared, had to drop shield. What a kill there from Arrow. Yeah, you know, she was just expecting a hitbox to already be out, but uh, right now, Echidona is the one in the driver's seat. 86% uh, on Arrow, and hasn't really let up the momentum yet. Pokemon Stadium 2 seems to be a really good counter pick for Echidona. I was gonna say, it's no secret that she is very, very comfy on this stage. And um, right now, it's definitely showing she's got a, a very firm lead of over 60%. Uh, and it's sizing up Arrow for the kill here. Arsene is no longer. Gets a drag down, down throw. Um, but the Rebel's Guard is gonna be super important uh, to punish that up air and get some Arsene meter at the same time. Yeah. 144% nearing max rage, but uh, honestly, you're at you you are at kill percent. Nearly anything from Echidona could be enough to take it. Oh, like that dash attack, for instance. Dash attack. Yeah, up to it, including dash attack. 72% uh, isn't a bad spot to be at. Echidona, pretty firmly in the lead right now, and continuing with this dominance. Hitbox is all over the place, just making it so difficult for Arrow to catch a breath. 
Ekidona really, really hitting their stride right now. And yeah, any menial interaction there. And you saw the, the shield uh, coming in clutch and avoiding the uh, forward air from Arrow. Any little interaction that goes in favor of Ekidona, she can take such a long way. Yeah. Back to a bit of neutral. It feels like Arrow's starting to swing a little bit more than we were seeing last game. Uh, not a lot of it is actually panning out, though. Absolutely not. Paltain is a character with an amazing whip on oh. game. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! One forward air was Rebels guarded only for another to take its place and seal at that stock. Ekidona is a mad lad right now. She said, if at first you don't succeed, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> and again, baby. And right okay. now, that... Yeah, I suppose if I'm going punished, however, Arrow in a very bad situation, down by a stock and a little bit more. It, it's gonna take yeah. a miracle for Arrow to come out on top of this one, and a miracle he might have in just a second here, as Arsene is in the building. Down air nearly closing out game three. Obviously, game three, you get counter pick advantage for the rest of the set if you win. This is a super important match for both of these players to want to win. And right now, it's looking like Ekidona is this close to taking it. Yeah, it's a very, very crucial game here. Arrow, you know, leading on their, le their, their last stock. One more hit of Arsene comes out before he says goodbye. And Ekidona tries her best to seal out the stock right there with the F smash. Nearly got it, too. That was so close. Let's see. Pretty much so. It clipped his toe. Oh, yeah, he tries yeah, to go the for a ledge trump. Yeah, you could tell that Arrow was trying to go for a ledge trump on Ekidona there. Still trying to find this stock, but Ekidona again, just not giving up hope. Off stage now, Arrow got to make it back. Rolls on, gets punished by dash attack. Oh, but things are Arsene. getting a little dicey. Oh, the Nair into the up tilt. That is going to be taking that stock and the game. Dude, that option is such an underutilized option. I'm surprised more Palutena's don't do it because that up tilt kills surprisingly early. But here it is. The drag down gets like 6% up on the board and the last hit of the up tilt will kill because of that rage. Excellent option there from Ekidona. And they are one game away from advancing into a guaranteed fifth place position. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that the up tilt hit behind Palutena. Uh, honestly, I wasn't really prepared for that, so I can't blame Arrow for dropping shield just a little too early. And uh, with that, we're going to be going to small battlefield for the counter pick. Um, I'm guessing Arrow just kind of wants a bit of a smaller stage, doesn't want to give, Aero, uh, excuse me, Ekidona any room to run around with, the juggling with Nair, uh, and wants to be able to land on those platforms. I think this is a good counter pick. Right, and he's debating the young link. Oh, Sam is now okay. If he went Samus, I would have popped off. Uh, but now the young Link <laughs> is coming out instead. Or excuse me, the regular Link. Link proper will be coming out instead. And it's small battlefield. I definitely think this is a good Link stage. The problem is Palutena is such a high tier character that she can deal with pretty much everything that Arrow wants to throw out quite convincingly. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Link pick. Oh, oh! And Eki Dona certainly <laughs> doesn't joking. like it. Down air at like 60% just closes out that first stock and she is still going. Continuing with the damage and only now doesn't even let it up. 65% again going for another down air. Not quite going to find what she's looking for, but the game is on. Once this, gate, once this train leaves the station, it just keeps on rolling out. Nekadona snowballing to a very convincing lead here. Yeah, I, Arrow. I think the thought process... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Arrow just struggling to get anything started. Ekidona just on fire right now, doing so, so, so well. Yeah, and it's not even like anything's going wrong with what Arrow's doing. The problem is Ekidona's just so red hot right now that whatever they're throwing out is just working and, and doing it so in quite spectacular fashion. I like the attempt with that Nair, not quite going to pay off. Arrow, just so close time and time again to actually taking the stock, but Ekidona dancing around Arrow's aggressive options, and then 
countering them with one of her own. It just is not an easy game for Arrow right now, and Ekidona is doing her best to make sure that uh, nothing comes easily here for Arrow. Right, but that upbeat did, unfortunately, and Arrow starting to gain some traction right now. I believe the thought process behind the link was, I want more range, and I want more disjoints to make sure that Ekidona could stay off me. But right now, Ekidona doesn't seem to have much of an issue getting in, as that backdoor will be killing tournament stock right now for Arrow. Needs to get something going, otherwise Ekidona is going to run away with this set. Let's see... Back to a bit of neutral. Ekidona is more than comfortable sitting back. Uh, we've seen her play Ooh. against Felix Ooh. earlier, and she was uh, very much just waiting on the other side of the stage for Felix to approach. Much of the same right, in this yeah. set. Okay, right now, nice uppy there. Arrow is slowly making this lead from Ekidona evaporate. Another uppy will connect. It won't kill, but it's super, super close to Erdash to avoid that bomb. He has her in the corner. What will he do? Another uppy. That will do it. Ooh. And we have an even game, folks. Arrow clawing his way back into this one. 0% on Ekidona right now, but if Arrow can keep up this momentum, he could force this into a game five. Yeah, but right now, Ekidona oh. snowballing so hard. He has the air dodge, and there's the back air. Ekidona wins the set, goes on to the next round, guaranteed fifth place. And Arrow falls at seventh place today.